Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel and thank you for watching. This is the painting I'm going to create in today's video. I don't have a title for it, I can't think of a title, so if you see something or think of something, feel free to share. Uh, the colors I used were uh, aged copper, copper, and 24 karat gold. They're in those mixed uh, bottles. I remember the names of the colors, but I don't remember the brands. Uh, and then this Emperor's Gold, Fire Opal, Royal Ruby, and Glossy Black. They're the same colors I used in the last video I posted, the Twin Flames Face Silhouette Playing with Fire video. Um, I created uh, this next painting in the same day as I often do. We'll keep playing with the same colors uh, through a few paintings as I get used to the reaction I get <clears throat> with the colors. I don't have a specific mix I can share with you guys other than for the most part I try to keep it equal ratios of Floetrol water and paint but as you probably know different paints different brands have different consistencies and um, so sometimes you have to vary that a little bit. I do like my consistency to be just a little thinner than honey usually. Um, but I will vary that as well, depending on what I'm going for. This is the only tool that I use in today's painting, you guys. This is the Art Resin Spreading Tool. Uh, so I just decided I was going to experiment with these colors. Uh, and it may be annoying in some parts for you because I waste a whole bunch of paint and uh, pour a bunch off and maybe even ruin it a couple of times before I start finding something that I like and playing around with it. But I'm hoping uh, that you'll just enjoy watching the different things that I do and maybe get ideas for your own paintings. Right now I'm just placing some paint on there, um, spreading it around and realizing that everything but the red is completely sinking under the black. And so I realize that I have way too much black as a base on my canvas here. So I just pulled a bunch of it off and more paint. And then I, uh, I have this little massage tool. So I decided I was going to see what that would do. And, uh, maybe, uh, with some different ideas, maybe some pooling of the paint that might make a cool effect, but I wasn't impressed with it. So I start moving it all around again. So I'm probably not going to talk much in this video since the only tool that I used is this resin spreading tool. Uh, one thing I would like to add though is um, to let you know that you know each side has different different sized teeth so you're going to get different effects depending on which side you use. The smaller the teeth the more it's going to blend the colors together um, and then the wider the teeth the more you're going to get more of that striped effect that it gives. Um, also, this is on a 16 by 20 canvas, and uh, the last painting I did, the fire one, was on a tile. So the paint also moves differently um, on canvas than it does on tile, and this art resin spreading tool um, kind of m moves a little different and flows a little different on the canvas than it does from the tile. So. Uh, that's what it's all about, you guys, just experimenting. Um, you know, I'll play around with paint like this and sometimes just wind up with a horrible, muddy mess, but I learn stuff in the process. I'll see a particular effect I get with certain colors or certain tools, and it will lead me to new ideas for future paintings. Um, so, yeah. So here in a minute, I start finding that I've got probably about the right thickness of paint now, um, pretty, pretty evenly spread on this canvas. And so it allows me to um, start adding these red stripes here in a minute that kind of, kind of stay put uh, a little bit different. Um, I don't know how to explain it, but you'll see. So I'll let you watch.
Thank you.